Hi. Uh, so uh, the next section that we're going to be covering is about uh, lists. So uh, just think of some of the you know uh, top uh, Android apps uh, apart from games like not PUBG and all of that stuff. But if you look at some of the most famous Android apps that exist, uh, you know, so Facebook, Twitter, Google, uh, a lot of them are actually lists. Uh, in the sense that you know Facebook is like feed where you have like posts all the posts are very similar like the content is different but they have uh, like the name of the user the uh, you know photo of the user and then the content of the post which can be a photo or a video or some text Twitter is also the same thing uh, reddit is the same thing uh, if you go to shopping sites like Zomato it's like a list of restaurants Swiggy list of restaurants if you go to Amazon list of products when you search something list of products if you go to Google when you search something the results are a list so uh, when you're making apps uh, one of the first things fundamentals that we need to learn is how to make lists and how to make better lists. Uh, lists are very important because uh, as you make more and more complex apps, you realize you're just making more and more complex lists. Lists are really the backbone of how uh, utility-based Android apps are made, uh, not the games, right? So uh, how do we work with uh, lists? Uh, let's uh, take a look. Uh, so the most uh, you know easy way of working with lists is that you know uh, we use something called a list view. So let's say I uh, turn it into a frame layout, okay? And inside the frame layout, I will add uh, a list view here, okay? Uh, so I will add this thing called a list view, okay? And I uh, create a list view, uh, sorry. List view, right? So a list view uh, needs uh, another, the same thing, it needs height. Uh, so it'll need a layout height, which would be, I'm going to be doing a match parent and I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, uh, match parent with lift, uh, width and height both here. Okay. So uh, uh, I don't I will not put anything inside this view like this here. So uh, when I make a list view, if you look at the design, it shows like, you know, that's how my list is going to look like. So uh, it will by default show a generic list which has two items like this. Uh, it does not mean that uh, this is exactly how your list will look like. It will depend on how we design our list. This is just a sample showing that how the list will uh, show up on our page. I'll give it an ID. Uh, so let me call it, you know, uh, uh, list view, uh, list, uh, list courses, something like this. Let's just say, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, list the courses that coding blocks teaches uh, inside uh, this list courses I'm just seeing okay and uh, let's go to main activity and what we'll do here is uh, we will create a, you know a list of courses so uh, I'll create a private file uh, courses equal to uh, list of and I'll create a list of uh, strings so let's say we'll do Android uh, node.js um, Django, um, what else do we have? Uh, competitive programming, uh, dynamic programming, what else do we have? We got uh, C++, we got Java, we got data structures, uh, we got uh, interview prep, um, we got uh, React, Vue.js, just uh, like a bunch of courses here, okay. So how do I show these list of courses on my screen with this list uh, view of uh, courses? We can call it LB courses, list view of courses, okay. So uh, that step again, we need the Kotlin Android extension uh, stuff here. Um, okay, so LB uh, courses dot and uh, to show data inside a list we have to set basically an adapter so we do list view courses dot uh, adapter equal to and I have to create a new adapter and on the easiest adapters uh, is uh, creating a, you know uh, array adapter so when you create an array adapter you have to specify the type of data that you're dealing with so we are dealing with strings here because this is a list of strings okay and when we construct an array adapter, we need to pass the context, which will pass this here. We'll need uh, the resource ID, which is basically 
the uh, the layout for each item inside the list okay so for each item inside the list uh, there is actually an inbuilt resource in android which i'm gonna make use here i will uh, use android dot uh, r dot uh, layout dot simple uh, list item one okay now uh, this is like an existing layout in android which looks like this it's just uh, you know uh, text view which has some text okay so that's what a simple list item one is like simple list item uh, two contains uh, two text views okay and uh, so uh, so I'll just go with the simple list item one this is the layout that I want to show on my screen and you know uh, as you can see I'm not using r dot layout I'm using android dot r dot layout so the difference between that is r dot layout are layouts which are part of my app android dot r dot layout are layouts which are part of the android os uh, already they exist so this is a layout that already exists inside the android os I'm just making use of that and then the third item that uh, we need here is the id of the you know um, i think the text view uh, resource so what is the id of this text view the id of it is uh, text one okay so i will have to specify it uh, like this um, android dot r dot id dot uh, text one again this is android dot r not directly r because this id exists inside uh, android uh, because this exists inside a layout which exists inside android as you can see the id is specified as android id like this instead of our ids which are specified uh, using just at the rate plus id so that's the difference okay so uh, items which are existing inside the android os you use android dot r ids which exist inside android os you use android dot r okay and then the final item that we need here is basically the uh, you know list of uh, courses so i will pass these courses here okay so if i do lv dot adapter equal to array adapter like this uh, simply uh, this and uh, if i just run my project so it's a very uh, simple step and this i think one of the things that i really like about android development is creating a list is pretty easy uh, compared to what you need to do with uh, some comparable platforms like uh, on, on iOS uh, creating a list of uh, items is uh, a bit more effort than this actually here we just tried this much is our code to create a list is this is how it looks like on our screen okay if there were like uh, more items on the screen so let me just add some more courses that exist in our uh, you know uh, brochure so machine learning and uh, you know uh, data science then uh, you know uh, and i think we have a kotlin basics course uh, okay so if i just run uh, with this extra data here okay i think it exceeds the list here okay so if it exceeds uh, the amount of items that can be shown on the screen a list view automatically turns uh, to be scrollable okay and every item if you click on those items uh, there is like a you know small bubble kind of thing generated if you want something to happen when the item is clicked uh, so you can do uh, something like this you can do uh, you can create the adapter first like this val adapter uh, I think uh, you can do LV courses dot set on item click listener uh, so when you create create like a set on item click listener uh, what you get is like parent view position ID okay so uh, parent uh, is uh, not needed in my case if uh, what I need is I will just need uh, something like this I would need um, courses uh, and uh, position so I just want to uh, show a toast so toast dot uh, make text uh, this comma uh, clicked on courses this position uh, then uh, toast dot uh, length short and uh, show okay so, uh, so I'm making a toast which uh, tells the user that we clicked on the course at this particular position and uh, we're just showing that okay so 
So if I uh, click on C++, it says clicked on C++, click on Java, it says clicked on Java, right? So uh, that's how you can create like an on item uh, click listener. Now uh, variables that you don't need inside a function like this, you can actually uh, rename them to uh, underscore. Underscore is basically a name for placeholder variables that you don't need. We just need the position uh, so that we can find out which course has been clicked on. Okay, the other items are not so much needed. Uh, so we can create a set on item uh, click listener uh, like this. Okay. So uh, that's like basic lists are uh, generated on our screen like this. But of course, uh, as we, you know, uh, find out things, we'll see that, you know, uh, more complex lists are uh, involved in, you know, in our uh, app. So uh, to work with more complex lists, we need uh, something, you know, uh, correspondingly more complex. So we'll use a recycler view when we work with more uh, complex lists. And that will do in the next uh, few videos, we'll see how to work with uh, recycler views. Okay.